Yeah, but uh, I am Maria Fosch, um, also from Finland, it seems to be very overrepresented, but mm -hmm. I will still speak uh, English, of course. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, two of you will not understand. Yes, so what we are presenting is also <laughs> a pilot uh, due to uh, or, or uh, after research and connecting research and actually then trying to see okay how, what could we do in school in our school and now when we are talking about school I thought that maybe pictures tell more about the background than, than words because these are uh, Instagram pictures from from our school we are uh, University of Applied Science meaning that we educate nurses, uh, for example, paramedics, engineers, um, business students. Uh, we have also cultural uh, students and, and different uh, areas of profession. And uh, they study three and a half, uh, four and a half years uh, at the school. And the age is 20 plus something. Very eager and, and very interested in, in studying. Um, Shortly about our school, uh, we, have, we are a very small school, we are a Swedish speaking school in Finland, which is unique, but, but uh, we are small and one of the smallest uh, schools, mm, and maybe that is also, I don't know, easy, but we at least have a uh, pedagogical uh, policy that we are actually all trying to use the same kind of model. And, and we focus on a community of inquiry, and, and this is the model that we are, are uh, enhancing also in all of our teaching. Saying that it's really important that you are present, that is as important as anything else. You have the possibility to be together uh, with others. You need to have some cognitive challenge. It has to be in some way difficult. You don't still understand it, but you also need to have structure. When will it be enough? When will I finish? When will I get my grade? So all of these things are, are important. Background about the uh, nursing situation. Uh, I don't know if I even have to say it. it's in Finland because this is a challenge in the whole world actually. Uh, the shortage of, of um, nurses and it's only uh, increasing all the time. There are different uh, signals that are really uh, alarming. We see that students leave their studies in the middle of the study. Even if they have invested two years in study to become a nurse, they can still leave it. And this is, of course, uh, alarming. Then we see that they uh, abound the profession. Uh, also, uh, in Karolinska Institute they, in Sweden, they did a, <coughs> a very uh, huge longitudinal study which showed that one year after graduated, 10% of the respondents said that they might or they are probably going to leave the profession. Two years later, it was already 20%. Wow. So this is, uh, of course, in many ways, we know that it's not good. And, and then we have the publicity that especially we have had in Finland is very negative on, on nursing. Uh, we also have a dropout of our students and also not applying that many anymore. It's not attractive uh, profession. So then we look to our neighbor uh, Sweden and, and ask that can we find some kind of solution? How, what we need to prepare the students. These young uh, professionals need to be well uh, prepared for the profession and the stress and all, all the emotional demanding things that they will see and explore in their profession. Uh, in Sweden, for all social workers, they need to, it's, it's mandatory that they take a course. Uh, uh, it doesn't actually give them study points, but they need to complete it still. And it's called PPU in Sweden, but it's PPD. It, it means personal and professional development. And it's, um, 
it's focusing on the personal development as much as the professional development. So, for example, this is a small example, but I think it's illustrative that um, they, in the first, one of the first sessions, in very small groups, together with the teacher, uh, they make a mask uh, or which is of paper and, and glue and they are then going to paint it and, and going to reuse it all during the sessions <clears throat> saying that okay when I have this mask on and I am this nurse uh, I can see this and this and when I take it off this is what I think and this is a very interesting way of being able to uh, explore and, and also to manage the feelings and emotions that are coming with this kind of demanding professions. So what we did is we, we introduced it uh, and we are going we have copied that actually from, from the social work um, education into our program in, uh, for our nurse students. We did a pilot uh, starting last year. Uh, this year we have offered it and also offered it, demanding it to all our nursing students. They need to, to be at, at these sessions. And uh, ne next year we hope that we can go, um, go even closer. Uh, it means that we will have structured meeting around uh, about one meeting per month with the students in small groups. Uh, small groups meaning eight. Uh, students and uh, there will be enough time to talk and to really say what's on your mind what have what did you reflect on when we were practicing this and this and we were talking about this and this in class what did you think or how, what did you feel and, and these are important things these are the competencies additional competencies may I say we have competence-based uh, study plan for the nursing uh, as, as all professionals in, in uh, Finland. But these are what we have uh, uh, seen that there needs to be strengthened even more. Self-knowledge, reflection, uh, empathy, uh, ethical, uh, some kind of ethical profile, teamwork and commitment. And then uh, this is um, I can understand now it's really small and, and you don't have to actually read but I can tell you that each month we meet with the students and we have one question they know in advance the question so they can prepare uh, they don't have to prepare they don't have to read long things but there is always going we are always offering reading uh, material if they are interested we have, uh, first we start with how do I learn and what do I want to be when I grow up. So we really start with, okay, where are we heading with? Because also as a nurse, you are not one nurse. You could be specialized in, and you could dream of something. And then we also as teachers need to know that if you are dreaming of working with children or cancer patients or uh, whatever uh, uh, field, we need to also be able to support that. Uh, then the, already the next month, October, we talk about lifestyle. And this is something that in the old study plan was included. It was gymnastic and you had to move your body uh, because in the old time, in the old days you had to actually move your body. No, but, but still we don't have that in, in our professional um, study plan anymore even if it's really important that also the nurse students know to exercise to sleep uh, what should they eat and so on they are going to be working in three shifts uh, meaning that they will be uh, staying up all night and how should they eat during the night this is something that we need to actually train and talk about and and how long should they sleep before shift starting in the night and how long after and what does it mean for the body we have a lot of research showing that this is a very dangerous thing uh, also and so on and um, yeah so and these are also very linked to what is going on in the program so for example i'm not going to go through all that i'm saying that in december for example we talk about ethical 
compromises and ethical dilemmas that they might be facing. And this is right after their first practical training. And their first practical training is in elderly care. And they usually come back with some kind of ethical dilemmas and some kind of ethical, they have seen something that they were not hoping to see. And we need to be able to talk about it. So what kind of emotions did it wake and, and how can we support? How will you become a different nurse? How you will make, make sure that you will not, this will not will happen to you? And so we continue and, and of course I can uh, also, um, oh, we are going to, to, to write also a long paper so you can read all, all the stuff uh, what we are going through. The vision, we don't have actually results since we have, this is, we have only started last uh, autumn, but the vision and what, where we are heading is that we would like for uh, our students to be more prepared for the very demanding profession that they are going to enter. How can they take care of themselves? How can they notice that I might now need some kind of guidance or help for someone to talk to? And and actually to train them to talk about things that are difficult. So if we teach them this, we hope that they will also have very long and uh, fruitful and happy and good professional careers. Of course, this is what we hope for. And um, we are saying in our vision that we are uh, a university that puts um, educating uh, uh, for uh, into work skill and educating youngsters into work for a sustainable life and hopefully this is also what we are actually doing with this work. Thank you. Thank you. successful, then maybe they are not going to study to become nurses. Mm. Yeah, but uh, yeah, please correct me if I'm wrong, but they, you would rather see them reading business or law or international studies, uh, literature. Well, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's not just so much about the education, but True. about the profession, it the is image the that the profession yeah. has. Because they are called Covid uh, nurses have been uh, really yeah. uh, yes. in a very hard position yeah. and uh, forced to work, overwork, uh, burned out 